let's use an example. So let's say the pressure in the tank is equal to 25 kPa. So the pressure transmitter will read this and send a 8 milliamp signal to the analog input card. The analog input card will read this current signal and convert it to a value that is between 0 to 4095. Now where does the card get this range from? So the card has an ADT converter, which stands for analog to digital converter. The 0 to 4095 is the actual bitmap of the current signal. It is a representation of how many bits the card has to represent this 4 to 20 milliamp values. So the more bits that you have to represent these current values in your analog to digital converter, the more accurate your current conversion will be. So the 0 to 4095 range is just a common range for most analog input cards. And it can be different for different manufacturers, even for the different models of the card that you might be using. It is always best to check the manual of the card to determine the range of your A DT converter. So now let's go back to our example. Now that we get the value of 8 milliamps coming in from our transmitter, it means that the value that will be registered in the card will be 1023 because the 4 to 20 milliamp signal is now mapped between 0 to 4095. So in your PLC program or the programming interface of your PLC, if you open the register of the analog input card where this transmitter is wired to, the you will see 1023, which indicates the current value of 8 milliamps. So I mentioned something about accuracy. For simplicity, we'll just work with the 0 to 4095 range. Values which we'll now get after the analog to digital conversion will be 0 to 4095. And these values can only be integers. So for instance, after the AD conversion, you can't get a value like 1023,5. Now it can be a bit tricky, but just stay with me. What does this actually mean? Let's just break it down a bit. So we know that the transmitter can give us a 4 to 20 milliamp signal. So of these current values, that range from 4 to 20 milliamps. It means that you have 4,096 numbers available to represent these current values. It's 4,096 because zero is also included. You already know that the four milliamps will be represented by zero and the 20 will be represented by 4095. Mathematically, there are infinite values between four milliamps and 20 milliamps, but we can only sample 4,096 values between this current range. So we need to divide this range by this range and that will be 16 divided by 4096 and that will give us a value of 0 0.0039062 but let's just keep the value at 0 0.004 for simplicity. This now represents the step value. So this means that when the current is 4 milliamps, you will see 0 on the register of this card. Only when the current value goes to 4,004 milliamps, then the value in this analog input card register will then move to 1. Similarly, if the current value is 8 milliamps, for example, then we get a value of of 1023 and only when this current value goes to 8,004 milliamps will the card then read 1024. So only when the current values step up by this number of 0, 0,004 or step down by this number of 0, 0,004 then the values in the register of this card which represent the current signal will change. So that's what's meant by accuracy. So the more bits that you have to represent this current range, 
you then your step value will become low if this was confusing to you don't worry the important thing to understand is that when the 4 to 20 milliamp signal reaches the analog input card it is mapped between 0 to 4095 or the values that will be indicated in the manual of the card that you are using for your for your plant so in our example the pressure was 25 kpa we got a milliamp signal of 8 and then the value that we expect to see in our register is 1023 now at this point you can then map this 0 to 4095 range to the 0 to 10 kpa and then you can now be able to use it in a program because if you're programming something and you're using values like 0 to 100 kpa it is very easy rather than using milliamp signals or you're using this 0 to 4095 so this is the picture of how of how the conversion works and that is done by most of the work is done by our analog input card and as i said before if this is confusing to you you just need to understand that if you are wiring an instrument in the field it will give you a 4 to 20 milliamp signal depending on on the range that you are using which needs to be the same as uh, what is accepted in your card and then the card will convert that value to 0 to 4095 and then once it's at 0 to 4095 you can then write a, a section of code in your plc program to then convert this value from 0 to 4095 to 0 to 100 uh, kpa so that's like like the more detailed understanding of the analog input card there is more to to this because uh, technology gets quite advanced but fundamentally this is how the analog input card works